we're going to focus on three commands, cut, copy, and paste. Cut and paste are used to rearrange text in your document, to move the third paragraph of your document to the top so it becomes the first paragraph. Copy and paste are used to duplicate text, to put another copy of the third paragraph somewhere else in your document or in another document. If you have a lot of rearranging to do, you can also use the Office clipboard, which we'll look at. First, to move text from one location to another, you always begin by selecting the text. So, for example, this is paragraph 1, paragraph 2, paragraph 3. We need to move paragraph 2. So we'll select paragraph 2, and then we'll cut paragraph 2. Three different ways to do it. One, to use the cut command here on the Home tab in the clipboard group. Second, to right-click and choose Cut from the context menu. And third, to use the Windows command, which is to hold Control and hit the letter X for Cut. The text that we just selected and cut didn't go nowhere. It went to a very specific place. It went to the Windows system clipboard, which can hold one item at a time. If we don't paste this somewhere soon and we cut something else, we'll actually lose it entirely. So when I cut, I want to paste right away. I'm going to position my insertion point where I'd like this text to go, and I'm going to paste it three different ways. One possibility is to click the Paste button. Another is to right-click in this location and to choose one of my paste options. Now, you can just choose any of these. Keep text only says bring the text in just as the text around it appears. The second choice is to bring the text in with the formatting that it has. And the third is to bring the text in using the formatting that this document has. So you'll notice that in this third choice, Keep Text Only, it simply drops the text in without any formatting whatsoever, and I lose my formatting where it has Paragraph 2 bolded. So don't be afraid to look at one of these or the other and say which one works the best. If you keep source formatting between documents, it's often a bad habit later, so I would encourage you to work with merging formatting and keeping text only. But we'll go ahead and merge formatting and bring that text in. There's an extra space that I brought in. I'm going to move my insertion point and hit delete to get rid of it. Notice that this text is now all bold. That sometimes happens in a copy and paste operation or a cut and paste, so I'm simply going to go unbold it. Now I can also copy this text and put it somewhere else. I'm going to copy this text and we'll move it to the very end of our document. Press enter a couple times and simply paste this text. Again, three different ways to do it using the clipboard, for example, or Control V, or to right click and choose Paste from the context menu. So, three different commands Control C to copy, Control X to cut, and then Control V to paste. You might wonder where the V comes from. It's actually the proofreader's mark, that downward pointing arrow that says insert some text right here. That's where that V comes from if it helps you to remember it. Now, if I simply want to cut and paste a couple of things, this is a fine way to do it. However, if I wanted to cut and paste a number of items, or if I want to collect some things that I want to paste into one document, then there's a better tool that I can use. The Windows clipboard holds one item at a time. The Office clipboard can hold 24 items. It's accessible to me simply by clicking this down arrow. And you'll notice that there's one thing sitting on the Office clipboard, one of 24, which is the paragraph that I most recently cut or copied. I'm going to click Clear All, so I start with a clean slate. And now let's take a look at how we might rearrange this document. So I know that 1, 2, and 3 are fine, but for example, paragraphs 4, I'd like to cut. And notice now that it's put onto the Office clipboard, it's no longer in my document. Paragraph 6, we'll cut it. And notice that each of them is being added here. So I'm selecting paragraphs and cutting them. I don't necessarily need to cut them all because I can rearrange the ones that are here in one other way. I'm going to delete the paragraph that we copied so it doesn't confuse us. I can always move within a document by dragging an item from one location to another. So I begin by selecting some text. For example, I'm going to select paragraph 7 and I want to move it above paragraph 8. So I begin by selecting the text, and then I point to the text. If I hang around here too long, I'll have other tools that start to show up, like the mini translator, for example. What I want to do is, after I've selected the text, 
rather promptly drag that text to its new location, notice the insertion point moving, and then let go of my mouse button to drop it. Notice that paragraph 7 does not show up on the Office clipboard, and it never went to the Windows clipboard. When you move items using drag and drop, Word is managing that transaction itself, and you're not using any clipboard space to do this. So now I'm ready to start pasting my other items in, but I have a chart that I want to add to this document as well. So I'm going to slide over to Microsoft Excel and grab that chart while I'm thinking of it. The chart's right here. I can select the chart and copy it. And when I go back to Word, you'll notice that that chart also appears here on my Office clipboard. The Office clipboard works for PowerPoint as well as Excel. So I'm going to put paragraph 4 right here. Notice I need to just press enter an extra time, not a big deal. Add paragraph 5, add paragraph 6, 7, 8, and at the end I have paragraph 9. And then finally I'm going to add my chart from Microsoft Excel. You can also paste items from the clipboard all at one time. So I have all these items lined up in this order on my clipboard. If I created a new document, I can simply paste them all at once. That's an easy thing to do. So if you collect items in order, you can do a bulk paste all at once, and it will dump the clipboard in reverse order. Notice the chart is last and paragraph 4 is first. So it will dump them in the order in which you collected them. So you can feel free to use the Office clipboard as a means of collecting a number of different things that you want to paste in a particular order when you're all done. If you want to clear the clipboard because you're done with it and ready to proceed with another operation, simply choose Clear All and you'll clear the clipboard. If I close both Excel and Word without clearing the clipboard, the contents of the clipboard will be dropped except for one item, the last item that I copied or cut, which will remain not on the Office clipboard, but on the Windows System clipboard. We've been copying, cutting, and pasting largely text, but as you notice with the chart, you can use these same copy, paste, and cut commands with images, charts, and other graphics to move items from one location to another or to create one or more copies of selected text or graphics, simply use the cut, copy, and paste commands. But to rearrange a document or to collect multiple text selections or objects to paste into one location, you should always use the Office clipboard.